there. This is Ron Wills coming back at you with yet another, wow, I can't even call this a couch video. I don't know. I, I don't know. Table video. <laughs> yeah, y'all. And just let you know, shit, I got, I got the, I got representatives of the Warriors behind me. Let y'all know how I roll. So let me straighten this joint out. Anyway, I'm going to call this joint even more support of the body game. So check this out, right? You know, because I always do stuff. You know, there's a lot of people. I'll be like, yeah, get that body right. Get that body right. But people still don't want to do it. So I say, shit, okay. I don't know, it should be common sense, but eh, common sense ain't common. So I said, let, let me get, it. every time I come across some proof, and I don't even be looking for it, it's so much stuff out there, right, that, you know, you come across it by accident. I'll be looking for something else. I say, oh, oh yeah, somebody else talking about it, right? So I'm actually on Zoom, which incidentally tell you how Rom roll. I was on Zoom two years before all of this. <laughs> so, Pay attention. Whatever I say, uh, you see me doing something or say something, jump on it. All right? I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm patting myself on the back, right? But anyway, right? So let me um, share some. There's a survey. It's uh, And the links for the survey will be in the description box. But I'm doing this on Zoom so I can let you see it as I talk about it, right? So hold on. Wait, let me get this thing just right. You know, so hold on, let me let me hit uh, share screen. All right, all right, so check this out, right? The most attractive body parts survey, male and female, is from a, a site, uh, www.thefelix.co.uk, uh, most attractive body parts. The link will be in the description box, but follow along with me. This is a survey done by this, uh, it's a company that deals specifically with, uh, well, I don't know specifically, but they definitely deal with uh, treatments for uh, different STDs and something. So, you know, this is definitely sex related, right? So these are the surveys, right? So first, they, you know, yeah, they say positive uh, personality is a huge factor, but they looked at the top physical features. And, you know, that's what body game is all about, right? So this is what they respond to the male body, right? Most attractive feature or on the female, male's response to the female, what we checking now. So check this out, let me bring this up. Now this is interesting, right? 46% face, let's be real, everybody's a face cause most men are face, are face men. Cause let's be real, most men can find a good woman if you know, if she cute enough, but you know, a lot of them ain't or they average looking or something, right? Average looking because when a man calls a woman a dime, she definitely got to have a good face. She can't, she can't, she can't be no butterface. Yeah, she got the biggest breast assistances and big old butt dung, but she got a butterface. Only like some hounds or some serious players that deal with it, and even then, it'd be from twelve to five, right? So this is interesting because what they say, forty six percent face men. Uh, the next one was ass men. You know, they must have been hitting like the hood and some trailer parks for that one. And then the hair piece, you know, that's all important. And then, you know, the big breast assistance. And that's actually surprising. I thought that would have been higher. But legs, she runs a leg man. But women don't got an ass. She got legs. I'm like, all right. You know, that, that's the pass from the loafer brother, right? Uh, lovers of fat asses. So anyway, right, and then other. I ain't sure what the other is for them. Really ain't, maybe it's just some random stuff. You might got some guys just like the feet, or it is like, man, she got, she got a hell of a neck or something, I don't know, right? So, and the thing is, one thing I like about this, and this is coming from somebody who's actually formerly worked in market research, they actually uh, kind of broke down who voted for what, right? And, you know, they talk about all this, and, you know, but they went into age, 
right? So like the face, because you as you see the color for the face and everything and ass and all of that, who liked what, you know? It's mostly face, especially older men. Kind of dipped down 25 to 34. I ain't surprised there because, you know, in that age, they just trying to get some. You know, as long as she don't look like a gargoyle, you know, they good with that. But then that increases because then around this age, you might think about marriage and stuff. And you kind of need, you need to like a man. It is what it is. Any women looking? Hey. Hey. The dermatologist. So teeth too. So anyway, right? So this is what the uh, men liked in the women. Okay, fine. Well, this is a mostly men's channel. Let's see. Let's go even further. You know? And, you know, like I said, they broke it down. That's one thing I liked about it. So it wasn't just, uh, you know, by age, but dis distribution. Most of this, uh, this is specifically for the U.S. Most of the people liked, most of the men liked uh, the face and stuff. Well, except for Nevada and uh, Montana and then hair and face, so that still count. The big breast is up in uh, Vermont. And you know, they some ass lovers up ass hair and boobs, New Hampshire. Hey, they egalitarian up there. You can have an all right face. But Montana and uh shit. I know if you live in Montana, a big fat booty woman in Montana, she'd be like, oh shit. They they probably be walking shit. Maybe somebody should get a leggings franchise out in there, right? But you know, still the face is just as most dominant. And that's men, period. Let's just be real on it. The face is most important. Shoot, some guys will get a big woman and she got a huge face. So that's cool. That's cool. So, you know, like I said, they broke it down by state. They also broke it by, down by income. You know, if a guy making over 150,000 face and 100,000, 149,000 face, this is interesting with the ass. I would have thought the ass would have been lower, but hey. You know, like, um, you know, especially in the poor places. But it is what it is, right? But overwhelmingly face. Okay, fine. Fine. But then they get to the women part, the female response, the most attractive feature. Now, before I get into this, you know, we on YouTube, you got guys, you got whole channels with large followings, you know, talking about that jawline, that face. I mean, in fact, when I talk body game, I've had men several times get on here and say, your body don't matter. You can, as long as you got a handsome face, you can have a dad bod, right? They saying it's serious too. It ain't even on no troll thing. They thinking it seriously. And then when I be like, hit the gym, guys be like, nah, as long as you got a handsome face, that's where I get that pushback. Okay. But now we got a survey. Wait a minute. Let me see what it says. Oh, wow. Hmm. So far, 2% just for the face. And then another three for eyes. Wow, hmm, just 2%? Well, since it's the face, as many dudes say, shoot. That means every other little part must be 1%. Not a man, 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 man. So what they say, oh, wait, 24% chest. Oh, 22% here, that actually surprised me. That actually surprised me. That means, hey, look, that means you need to let the barber bless you. In fact, your haircut is like a haircut, beard trim, all of that. That's like makeup for a man. And you remember. And I would say, hair, yeah, that covers all of that. Shoot. The barber, regardless of race, is probably responsible for more babies being born, especially in this country. How many dudes that got that fresh cut that went to the club that night? Like I said, the barber blessed you. Right? But look at this. It said 24% chest. And then, I mean, that's the only facial thing, but then somebody can look like a gargoyle in their face, but if they got a fresh cut. Mm. And then, you know, the next thing is the arms. Wow. Abs, V cut. All of this is like, what? now, you know what? I did a uh, car video one time. And I said, you know, that that uh, area between below your head and above your waist is probably the most important for women. Of course, I had a few critics on it and stuff, but 
And you know, some of these critics like to say science is easy. It's like, well, this is science, motherfucker. It's a survey. You probably had thousands of respondents because this company is uh, international. But look at what they say, 24% chest. You know, I mean, this is a, it's like, it's like once you jump, like, I mean, only thing above your neck is your hair. Shoot, hair club for men, that's why they're probably making their money, right? But look at that, 24% chest, what did I say? You know, arms and all of that. Now, let's go down further, you know? And I've always said that, right? In fact, I'm gonna put not only the link for this, but I'm gonna put a link to a study I shared before where they were studying women's reaction to men's bodies, but they specifically cut the heads of the men off. And you know what is funny? You know what's interesting? I knew this anyway, right? Y'all remember that uh, young lady I was in, um, I was in that video I had the car video with a while ago. And you know, and most people were supportive and like, yeah, Uncle Ron receipts and everything. But of course, there were some people who said, well, you hold her. She must be interested in your money and all of that. And I was like, nah, nah. Whole time we bet, well, I ain't gonna get into that, but uh, let's just say money hasn't been an issue. In fact, and she, she specifically said, I could tell y'all this. We actually met in person the day of that summit. You remember that summit back in February? Because she lived in the same area that the summit occurred. And she had been, you know, she had been following me for a while. And she knew what my voice sounded like. She knew what my face sounded like. And it was more or less going to meet somebody you seen, like, you know, video and everything. It wasn't that big a deal to her. It was pretty much me, you know, chop it up for a little bit, go our separate ways and stuff. Like, oh, yeah, great to meet you. She saw me in person. First, I, I was taller than she thought. And then I was more muscular, because most of the time in these videos, I see just this. I didn't see the rest, right? And she was like, she looked, she, she was like, wait a minute, you more muscular. Mm. She was like, she couldn't call me Uncle Rom anymore. <laughs> I even asked her, she said, I can't call you Uncle Rami. Mean. <laughs> but what was it? Chest. Arms. And I'm surprised they didn't have shoulders on here. Now my abs, mm, I got work on those. But even then, this is still bigger. This is still bigger. And well, I don't have it quite that, but I got that Cobra thing up here. Ain't quite a V, but more like boom, boom. You know, so you know they, that's what they saw. Shit, here you go. I mean, if you see it, it's more boom and then straight down. So you know, I saw this in person. In fact, I actually knew this. I knew this for years because when I first really started working out, before I started working out hard, hard, I had several women with friends on me. They could go out on a date with me. When I'd be good to get a hug from. Them like several of them. As soon as I started working out good and all of that, the friend zone thing disappeared. So my face didn't change. Shoot, and my money did, definitely didn't change. I actually made less money when all this started happening, right? I actually made less money, lived at home with my grandmother, but I had access to a gym. And these women told me straight up, hey, you've been lifting. <laughs> you've been lifting. So I seen that firsthand. That's why I pushed the body game so much. I seen how it worked. That's why when guys think, oh, it's just the face, I'm like, well, my face didn't change. Yeah, but the body did. You know, but look at this. Look at this. I mean, seriously, and I ain't going to lie. When they say 2%, because I knew face, you know, I knew plenty of women could get past the face. I ain't think it was, I, was, I ain't personally. I'm saying personally, as much as I push by a game, I ain't think face would be that low. If somebody were to say, well, what do you think it is? I said, I would have personally said, okay, it got to be about 20, maybe 30%. Uh, face. I would have said that. I just know there's a lot of guys who might be at best conventionally handsome or just regular looking, but since they hit the gym, women going crazy. And then, of course, Cousin t he, he he's in a profession where men, where, men, where men make money with their bodies, and he was talking about the ugly, sexy play. And then I've had several women tell me they dealt with some dude whose face was like, yeah, or only some a mother could love, but they were going crazy over his body. But look at this. 
Now let's break this down some more. Just like with the women, you know, they kind of break it down. Distribution by age, right? Like the guys who the chest is biggest, right? The chest is biggest for in uh, for uh, women, like 45, they say 45 to 64, right? And that that's the case, that's the case. When they're younger, the case is so-so. Actually, let me see this. If I'm reading this right, yeah, hair is bigger when it's younger, because you know, you get older and stuff, you're gonna lose it. Let me make sure this thing is right. I don't need to see the ancestors, right? But look at this where the face is. I mean, this is crazy. This is up here. Look at that. Look at that. Least important. Like other than legs. It did say you can miss leg day. So, but like I said, it's always say if you got like strong legs, because I ain't gonna lie, Rama put his calves up against anybody uh, on the planet. But you know, a lot of times women can't necessarily see that. That's like a bonus right there. That's the lowest. And look what, I mean, come on now, the face, second to last. And this is a survey and they, they broke it down by age. Like the chest ain't as much then, you know, that's why youngins gotta have it, but they still gotta have something like, but that's bigger, but it, it gets down and then, you know, gets back up when, you know, if you get an older woman with, or older man with some hair or some shit. But look at this. I mean, look at this. Screenshot this if you can. Or better yet, hit the link and go check it out for yourself. Right? So, you know, so in, like I said, so y'all dudes, just because you're getting older, do those bench presses. Do those bench presses. In fact, that's why you see some guys in their 40s and 50s got some young girls uh, pawning all over them, especially if they keep that hair right. You know, so there's, there's a lot of game right here. You can break it down by age, right? So, and where's the V-cut? Hold on, let me get back to the V-cut. Where's that right here? Yeah, the V-cut phase out as they get older. You go for that till you're about uh, 54, you know? So as long as they ain't too bad there. In fact, that's kind of a significant fade out, right? So distribution by geography. So it's different where you are. Like if you do got legs, you down in the sovereign state of Alabama, you pretty good, right? Look at it, it's chest, then arm, V cut, V cut in Wyoming, um, hair in Minnesota, um, yeah, okay, yeah. Look at how this distribution is: hair and chest, and uh, hair and chest in um, Texas, great state of Texas, hair in Florida. That's kind of weird. But you know what I ain't gonna say, you know, because, but look at this, where's face on here? Body game, yo. Body game and a haircut. What I keep saying, let the barber bless you. And make sure you get that bench press up. <laughs> but yeah, and that, that doesn't surprise me for the, uh, because on a deeper matter, maybe I'll do another video on this. It, it region does play a part. If you ain't getting to play in one region, gas might need to move. All right, so that's the distribution across the states, distribution by income. So if you get those women who are really making that money, yeah, they do like ass. And they tend to, when you get women on that level, they want to tight, they want the tighter body. That's that toy boy game, gigolo game, shoot, even exotic dancer game. But then 100,000 to 149,999 chess. And then 75 to 99 arms, chest, arms. But like I said, it's that region. It's that region, you know? So, you know, you ain't say nothing about face again. And it, it, look, let's put it like this. If you got that real handsome face or something, oh yeah, definitely it plays a part. But that ain't the main thing. Understand, women looking to get turned on. There are a lot of nice guys who got handsome face. I talked to some women about that. They say, yeah, you know, they handsome, but you know, they ain't turned on. That's why women are used the term handsome and sexy or handsome and hot. If it was just their face, they just hate hot, period. Or just handsome, period. But they'd be like handsome and, or even ugly and, like the dude maybe have an unattractive face, 
but kill a body and stuff, right? So that's the income thing. So, and anyway, this tells more about, like I said, it uh, talks about more sexual issues, erectile dysfunction and all of that, which says if you use some common sense, which means the people hitting this up, it's definitely more of a sexual thing. And it was a, a um, you know, confidential survey, which I'm gonna tell you what, I've worked in market research. They actually the best ones because since people ain't being looked in the eye and expect to say anything, they tend to be the most honest. They tend to be the most dishonest if they sitting right in front of you. Like I say, that's a professional opinion. I worked in market research. You know, so I take folks who used to deal with focus groups, interviewing people and everything. When you write in front of them, a lot of times they'll tell you what you want to hear, especially in market research, because a lot of times participants get paid. But when it's something like that, people can just say, you know, what's on their mind. Uh, the chances of accuracy are still, I'll just say better. It's never 100% on anything, right? So anyway, like I said, I wanted to share that. I wanted to share that today with y'all. So, um, you know, that's, uh, I want y'all to think about it. Like I said, hit the gym, hit the body. That, that would cut down a lot. Now it's still, body is still the foundation. You still gotta have uh, that personality. You still gotta have that masculinity. But a lot of it, if you got that foundation, let's just say, if you ain't worked on your body, you approach that woman and stuff, it's going to be a whole lot harder than if you got that body and then you walk up and say, hi, she'll at least stop. She'll at least stop or the chances are she'll stop. You know, you got that body, it has the stronger chances with it. Not as much, and especially your hair right, everything, stronger chance of it, okay? So anyway, that's all I got for today. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace and blessings.